Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be playing Chrono Trigger on the PS1. Let us begin. So Chrono Trigger is one of my all-time favorite games ever. I first played it on the Super Nintendo and uh, <clears throat> eventually when I do a playthrough I'm probably going to do the Steam version since it is in widescreen and it has the it has none of the uh, uh, what do you call it? it has none of the loading issues that the PS1 has when it comes to going into battles. So I'm doing the quick play version, I'm doing the PS1 version just to show some of the uh, things that is wrong with the PS1 version compared to any other version I played through. Like I played through the Super Nintendo version at least seven times, start to finish, and I did it on a yearly basis for about a year. And, um, and then uh, the, the, the Nintendo DS version came out and I played through that. Uh, I, I think I played through the PS1 version. No, actually I never played through the PS1 version. I played maybe a dozen, maybe about a dozen hours and then I just kind of gave up just because yeah, it wasn't really m my favorite, even though it has the cutscenes and all. And it, you know, I was, I don't know why they added like, um, I don't know why they added loading times to the uh, to the game. Either way, Chrono. Good morning, Chrono. It's mother. And Chrono is a teenager, probably around sixteen, living still living at home. Come on, sleepyhead, get up. Ah, Lean's Bell makes such beautiful music. You were so excited about the Millennial Fair that you didn't sleep well, did you? I want you to behave yourself today. Chrono still has bedhead that he never that he never deals with throughout the whole game. Let's get moving now. You know, the mom is a little too nice. What my mom would have done is, you know, yell at me to get up. If I didn't get up right away, then she would steal my blanket. But then again, like, uh, I've, when I was a teenager, I wanted to sleep for like 12 hours a day, but I wasn't allowed to. Finally, by the way, that inventor friend of yours, um, you know, oh dear, I've forgotten her name. Just like most moms, she'd probably go through like, uh, a dozen names before she got, you know, your name, your, your friend's name right. Luca, or else she could get mixed up with names, whatever. That's right, Luca. Don't forget she invited you to see her new invention. Run along now and be back before dinner. Okay, Ma. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's your allowance, dear. Have fun at the fair. Receive 20, 200 Gs. Two, what What I could do with 200,000? So Chrono has a cat. We don't know what the name is. I don't think they ever mention what the name of the cat is. Give him a generic name. You know. Whiskers or whatever. Well, I'll just leave out. I'll just leave out all the world building aspects to when I do the actual uh, playthrough. And if I ever do a, a playthrough one of these days, I'm probably gonna take my sweet old time because I'd love to savor every minute of this game whenever I play through it. Okay, let's see. We need to run into somebody first. A pretty blonde, blue-eyed girl named... I'm gonna go with Marl. Hey! Ouch, that hurt. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Uh-oh, my pendant. Oh no, don't tell me I lost it. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, thank goodness. I don't know why she jumped like that. My pendant, it has a lot of sentimental value. May I have it back? No. Yes. Can't you see the festival? The, you live in this town, don't you? I feel a little out of place here. Would you mind if I walked around with you for a while? Sure. You're a true gentleman. Oh, by the way, my name is... Um, she's got to think up a name first. Okay. We got an extra... Extra, like, three seconds of black screen. Marley, or Marl. I'll go with Marl, because if it was Marley, there would have been a Y at the end. 
Uh, Marl, and your Chrono. What a nice name. What a weird ass name. Pleased to meet you. Now lead on. So now that we have Marl in tow, we can check out things like, uh, well, there's this thing right there. Um, I don't know what that is, but you know what? Let's have some. Yum. Tastes like chicken. You're such a pig, Chrono. Whoa, we just met already and we're name calling. Maybe she thinks he's cute. No time to talk, just sitting down for my lunch. What in blue blazes? There's no lunch here. Then here's a cat here that just immediately grows attached to you. Yeah, we lost his trail. Okay, let's go check. Okay, that cat's still there. Keep going if you want to demo Luca's robot battle trainer. Collect silver points if you win. Oh, I was also going to mention that uh, there is a five-hour musical on YouTube. Uh, a bunch of people across the internet uh, made a musical of Chrono Trigger. And uh, I've listened through, I think I got like four hours into it. I got, I'm, I'm doing it in parts. I'm listening to it in... In sessions and so far I'm just enjoying it um, I think I've listened to the first half at least like a handful of times already I just I don't know like if you're a hardcore Chrono Trigger fan I would say go check it out look for it anyway they call me Gato I have metal joints beat me up and earn 15 silver points I'm not gonna attempt to try sing or anything like that I just don't have a musical note that I can hold whatsoever. Gato. And he only likes to beat up Chrono, I noticed. Yep, pick on Chrono. There, there's this thing he does where looks like he's gonna turn and attack Marl. Nope. Go straight for Chrono. He doesn't like he doesn't like the red-haired kid. What's wrong? You don't like gingers? Yep, this is a ginger Hayden robot. And Chrono's just about dead. Cool. See, there's a loading. See that? Ugh, that just irritates me. It's just like a two, three seconds of, you know, pause in between. Anyway. He punched me. I hate that robot. Okay, um... Let's go check out some of this other stuff here. It's a soda guzzling contest. Pre Are you sure it's soda? Press X button as fast as you can. Ready, set, go. Okay. Let's see if I can do this fast. Ah, oh, only six cans. Is that the best you can do? You're awfully competitive, aren't you, Chrono? And I am very, very drunk. Guzzling six cans in a row like that. Where? Where's my cat? I have no idea. Alright, let's go this way. I know I'm kind of done some things already, like not knowing what to do with the cat and eating that lunch. Um, I'm just doing it on purpose. I'm pretending to be oblivious, but I know that... In order to get a good innocent rating later in the game, you'll have to uh, not do those things. Well, help the girl find her cat and not eat the lunch. Use the triangle, square, L1 and R1 buttons to dance. Like so. Okay, that's not dancing. That's fear. Okay, they're laughing. Square makes them hit them. Chrono's hitting himself in the balls and Marl's spanking herself. And um, that's not really dancing either. That's the climbing animation. But let's just pretend that they're dancing. Alright. So enough of that noise. Let's go check out the rest of the... Uh, let's get to the rest of the fair. The music in this game is iconic to me. It is part of my childhood. It's just very optimistic and is well well made. Like especially for the Super Nintendo era of music, 
like it like this if you if, if i think of super nintendo music there are a few games that come to mind like super mario world and uh final fantasy 3 or 6 however you would put it but chrono trigger is one that i hold dear to my heart not just by way of like playing the game like how, how fun it is to play but also the music as well Okay, what's the big deal? So what if we won war against Wizard hundreds of years ago? Okay, I'm not gonna talk. I'm not gonna talk to everybody, but I am going to uh, partake in some festi festivities here. The race is on. Be quiet and watch. Okay, if you talk to this guy, he has an inside track to how the runners run. Cadillac, you're a sure bet. Okay, sure. Guess the winner. Let's go with Cadillac. All right. Ready, set, go. Go. Okay. Aw. Oh, that old man lied to me. He said the cat was a sure bet. Come on, puss puss. Okay, at least he's not last. Okay, cat, you're somewhat off the hook. Oh, parental discretion advised. Welcome to Norstein Beckler's lab. The spine-tingling show is about to start. How many silver points would you like to pay? I can only afford ten. I'm Vix. I'm Wedge. Vix and Wedge from uh, Final Fantasy. I'm Piet. I think that's how he said. Or Pi. Or Piet, I guess. Vix Wedge. Okay, I'm kind of mixed up. Find Vix. I think it's Vix is this one. Oh, yes. Oh, nice. A Poyozo doll. It'll spruce up your room. Cool. So, since I want that, I'm going to go check it out in my bedroom. Okay, so we have a doll there. I'll open the thing, and if you talk to him... Oh, okay. It's a pretty somber musical tune that's uh Marl's theme what else can we do there's this thing here press the X button while facing the bell judge your distance carefully and press the circle button all right okay he's gotta go as far as he can I think I found it nope let's try that again there we go impressive I'll put one silver point on your card. Yeah, that gets pretty tedious fast. This item. Oh man, that uh, I know it's not a long time, but that extra two seconds of black screen just gets to me. Buy something from Melchior, the swordsmith? Sure. Usually when I start a new playthrough, I like to grind in the forest to get at least 4,000 beaten and to get this sword give myself a uh, head start and also to increase a level or two before I you know go on in the game I live on the continent to the east come see me sometime by the way could you talk that young lady into selling her pendant no because it's not for me to to do and also if you try to talk to her about selling it um I think it's this what is this lady here she uh testifies on how how a scammer that you come off as later on i heard luca and her dad haven't made another crazy invention i hope it doesn't blow up like all the others okay they ought to be ready now right for the far side of the square this is going to be fun come on chrono so if you want to ever want to get things moving along as quickly as you can like, after you meet Marl and she joins your party, you can come straight down here and talk to her. And uh, Lucas' device will be ready to go. You don't have to do all the stuff I did. But um, before we move on, let's go to the forest and um, let's get into a couple of battles. So I'm going to do one round of the forest. I'm going to show you how painstakingly slow it takes to go through here. So usually we're into the battle right away, right now. But now now we're in the battle. Quite a bit of waiting time. 
Final Fantasy VI and Chrono Trigger come together as Final Fantasy Chronicles on the PS1. And Final Fantasy VI is able to hide the loading time a little bit more with a, a transition. But it still is kind of slower than, uh, than I'm used to. But with Chrono Trigger, it's more noticeable. So here we go. Let's wait for a second or two. Finally. I just love the music. Okay, let's take on these cockroaches here. My favorite new metal rock band from the early 2000s, Cockroach. You think if there were bugs that big, we'd probably be eating them sh like shrimp. Oh, cool. Mara learns oral. Oral, not oral. Yeah, I'm trying to bring up, here we go. Ah, crap. Oh, gotta wait for the loading. Okay, let's go back. And wait, and wait, and wait. There we go. Okay, let's use the tech. Get Marl to perform some oral on Chrono Trigger, on Chrono here. Two orals in one day. Make anybody happy. I'll uh, take on this dingling bird here. I'm gonna take care of the bird first because if the bird gets a, if the bird uh, decides to do dingling on Chrono, Chrono gets confused. I don't know if the bird is uh, confusing him with his dingling, but uh, here we go. Well, Chrono Trigger, is, Chrono Trigger, Chrono is a little more straighter than that. There we go. Then to get confused by a dingling, like for some reason I keep on calling Chrono. Chrono Trigger because it's almost like I'm treating like the title like Trigger as his last name for some I don't know like I got in my head that his last name was Trigger because the game was called Chrono Trigger you know what come to think of it I actually do have a uh, Super Nintendo version of Chrono, Chrono Trigger on my Wii like I have it on as a virtual console yeah that's the closest uh, that's the closest version of Chrono Trigger I have to the original. Maybe I should play that instead of buying the Steam Deck version. Hold your horses. I want to get some candy. So you can move around, look around, but if you try to leave... Give me a second, just a second. Yeah, that's not a good move to do if you want to be proven innocent later. Hi, I'd like some of this. Sure, young lady. That that green-haired person is a is a woman. I thought this was the dude. I hate fairs. Say, do you know the latest gossip? No. Just between us, I heard that the king is distressed over his tomboy of a daughter. Just once, I would like to see how wild she really is. Hmm. I don't know how to. I don't know how, what in what context he means by that, but I'm just gonna leave it. Taban, step right on up. Any of you who have the time and the courage. Our super dimension warp is the invention of the century. To use it, jump up here, and you'll get teleported here. It's the masterwork of my beautiful daughter, Luca. Just hop on the left pod. Cool. Will do. All systems on. Begin energy transfer. I like in the musical they gave Luca a uh, German, or was it Russian? No, I think it's a German accent. I, I, I probably I'm not very good with what European accents are which. Oh wow, that was great! What a kick! I want to try it too. Huh? Hey, Chrono, where did you pick up a cutie like her? Hang on, Chrono. I'll be right there. You sure about this? There's still some time to change your mind. I don't know why suddenly Tabin is trying to convince her not to do it. Maybe he's got a bad feeling all of a sudden. Something is supposed to happen. No way. Throw the switch. Oh, the music's going away. Okay, everyone. Let's give her a great big hand when she reappears. What is going on with Marl? 
What's happening? My pendant, it's... Huh? Oh, Tabin, you screwed up. It started on your end. And she's getting teleported away. But where to? Hmm. Luca, where is she? Show's over, folks. Let's head along now. What's going on, Luca? Where is she? The way she disappeared, it couldn't have been a telepod. The warp fields seem to be affected by her pendant. What are we going to do now? Okay, time to go for the rescue. Chrono, you're actually going to do it? What a fine lad. Listen, I don't know where this machine is going to send you, but we haven't had any other choice. They're suddenly deciding all this without Chrono saying a word. Won't they both be lost? This is our only hope. That pendant seems to be the key, so hang on to it, Chrono, and brace yourself. There, we did it. And it's time for Chrono to go through the portal himself. I'll follow you after I know what went wrong. Good luck, Chrono. Did, he didn't go with the pendant, did he? Or maybe... They didn't show it being left behind. But um, I'm assuming that the same thing happened, I guess. Look at those psychedelic graphics. Those were some pretty psych psychedelic graphics back in, in 1994. No, it was 95 when this came out. Uh oh. We got we run into a couple of garlic juniors. Alright, time to kick some ass. Kill these butthead smurfs. Alright. Six experience points, three tech points, 36G, Chrono leveled up. So I think I'm up to level three now. But anyway, so I'm going to stop the video here because this, this is a JRPG that can go on for like about 10 hours if you power if you speed through it. But uh, this game does have like 12 endings. I have never gotten all of them. I've only, in my yearly playthrough, I've only ever gotten the, the good ending that I was able, I knew how to get. But anyway, so I'm going to stop the video here and I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed making it. And we will catch you next time with a different game. Until then, we'll see you. Have a good one.